Today on Try This at Home. This thing behind me isn't just for decoration, you know. Hello and welcome to Try This at Home, the show for fledgling gearheads and those who'd like to know the difference between a piece of furniture and a musical instrument. Today, we're talking about piano. And not keyboard, piano. There's a difference. If you're like me, you have an upright piano and not a baby grand or a grand. So say you want that authentic piano tone in your recording. Well, how do you go about getting it? Well, today, we're gonna do a little experiment. For one thing, I'm utilizing a trick that my sadly former piano tuner, sadly former because he passed away in January, showed me on an upright piano. You know that weird little panel below the keys? Well, that could come off. So you better believe we're taking advantage of that. He showed me that trick years ago and I've been using it ever since. So today, we have four microphones set up. We have a stereo pair of small diaphragm condensers down here below the keys. We have the large diaphragm condenser aimed at about the center of the piano. And lastly, we have this guy back here as a room microphone. When I produced my friend Steve O'Reilly's EP, I used that microphone as a room mic for basically everything and that's all the reverb that you hear on that entire EP. Okay, we're all set up and we're ready to go. The piece I'm playing is the Prelude in C from Johann Sebastian Bach's Well-Tempered Clavier. What you will be hearing is a blended sound of all the microphones. I will also put the individual microphones in the description. So that's going to do it for this edition of Try This at Home. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments section. If you like what you see, you know what to do. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>